You know, the Battle of Badr was the, one of the first major battles, the first major battle that took place after the persecution of the Muslims and when they were uh, basically in Medina Munawwara now and coming back to Mecca, that entire time, that, pro, that whole process, the first major battle that took place was the Battle of Badr. The Muslims were very small in number, very small in number. And the, the, the people of Quraysh were actually more than three times the number of the Muslims. And so Allah makes mention of the help of Allah. وَلَقَدْ نَصَرَكُمُ اللَّهُ بِبَدْرُ وَأَنْتُمْ أَذِلَّهُ Remember, when Allah helped you through the battle of Badr, and you were small in number, very small, Allah helped you. Wow, when I read that verse, I really feel so good, so good. When I read the history of the battle of Badr, I feel so good because 313 Muslims versus a thousand of the uh, people of Mecca, and subhanallah, Allah says, you know, we sent the angels. Angels. Allah says, we sent 3,000 angels to help you. And Allah says, if you have sabr and taqwa, the same qualities that we mentioned earlier, if you bear patience and you have got consciousness, the taqwa, Allah says, we will send you another 2,000, making it 5,000 angels to help you right now. You may not see them. We know we sent them and they protected you. You achieved ultimate victory. Because of that, subhanallah, amazing. I believe in the angels. We believe as part of our belief structure in the angels. They exist. And Allah sends the angels of mercy and protection to us in order to grant us, to comfort us, in order to give us, in order to protect us. That's amazing. So I'm convinced that when I bear sabr and I have taqwa, then I benefit from this perk of having the angels around me looking after me, taking care of me by the instruction of Allah. And that's why when we read Ayatul Kursi and so on, it's reported that the angels are taking care of such people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and hope in His protection, in His guidance, and may He always be there for us. Amen.